Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about the deficiency manifestations of vitamin D. So before going to talk about the deficiency manifestations, so what are all the factors cause the deficiency of vitamin D and what are all the reasons? Okay, so the main causes for the vitamin D deficiency is people who are not getting exposed to sunlight. As we said, vitamin D is popularly known as sunshine vitamin. When we get exposed to the sunlight, the 7 day hydrocholesterol which is present in our skin, okay, will be irradiated, okay, undergo photolysis to make cholecalciferol. And further, this cholecalciferol transported in circulation reaches the liver and kidney and it will get activated, right. So, the main thing is ample sunlight is required to maintain your adequate vitamin D levels. So, the people who are not exposing to the sunlight properly, they might be fall deficient to vitamin D and causes severe bone disorders. And second is inadequate supply. So, next to the sunlight, the food sources are the best resources for vitamin D. So, if you are not taking or including ample amounts of vitamin D in your diet, that is also leading to vitamin deficiency and if you are having serious malabsorption syndrome or disorders you will get again I mean like leads to impaired absorption of vitamin D leads to like chylomicron deficiency leads to vitamin D deficiency and abnormality of vitamin D activation especially in case of uh, liver failure or like uh, renal failure if your liver cells are not working properly if uh, like 25 alpha hydroxylase is not uh, uh, adding I mean like acting so there is no addition of hydroxyl group at 25th carbon and at the same way in renal failure like renal damage, renal cirrhosis or like uh, nephrotic syndrome and like glomerulonephritis, renal cells will not be working properly. So there is no addition of hydroxyl group at the first carbon. So again deactivation of uh, vitamin D like means no proper activation of vitamin D. So this way it leads to vitamin D deficiency and resistant effects of 1 comma 25 dihydroxy vitamin. So all these factors like causes gives you vitamin D deficiency. So here you see here bow legs like what to say rickets in children okay and osteomalacia in adults okay the low levels are the deficiency of vitamin D causes rickets in children and osteomalacia in adults. So before talk about the deficiency manifestations you should know about the normal range of vitamin D. So the normal level of serum vitamin D is like less than 30 nanograms per ml and in, in, insufficient is like 20 to 29 nanograms per ml. Deficient means 10 to 19 nanograms per ml. Severe deficiency is less than 10 nanograms per ml. Toxic means hyper -tox, uh, like uh, toxicity or hypervitaminosis. If you consume more amounts of vitamin D, it leads to hypervitaminosis. That is consuming, I mean like your levels, plasma vitamin D levels will be like more than 150 nanograms per ml. So coming to deficiency manifestations, we said two deficiency manifestations, rickets in children, osteomalacia in adults. So we'll discuss about the rickets. So it is characterized by decreased serum calcium levels. So if there is no calcium, uh, enough levels of calcium, it leads to poor mineralization of bones. So causes soft and uh, pliable bones. Okay. And bone deformities, delayed dentition and delayed closure of anterior fontanelle. Okay, so there is no proper uh, shaping of the skull, okay, embossed skull, there is no proper development of rib cage. So, because all these are made up of bones, so because of these bones are not getting harder, they are like mineralization, so they will be soft. So, whoever touches it will take improper shape. See, the main characteristic of Rickards is bow legs, knock knee, or bow legs. Why? Because the weight bearing bones, like femur bones, are the main weight bearing bones. So, as our whole body weight is on these femur bones, so as these bones are soft, they will try to get bent. So if they are harder, the, they can bear the weight. As the weight is gaining by the baby, so the, as the whole body weight is a relay on the femur bones, uh, they cannot bear that much weight. So as the bones are not mineralized properly, they are soft and they started bent or bow form. So not only legs, like uh, pigeon chest, you can say uh, pigeon chest, rickety rosary that means uh, improper uh, diffusion of uh, rib cage okay pigeon chest there is no proper development of uh, rib bones okay so all these two pigeon chest and rickety rosary and there is delay in closure of anterior fontanelles okay the skull bone all the made up of three parts of the bones okay they are not be joined and there is no closure of fontanelle so leads to embossed or uh, bulged skull frontal bossing. So here you can see 10 important clinical features of rickets. Delayed closure of frontally right from the head to the toe. 
okay delayed closure of fontanelli frontal bossing that means uh, uh, enlargement of uh, frontal bone and dental hyperplasia delayed uh, dentition there is no proper teeth formation because of calcium abnormalities and uh, pectus uh, carinatum swelling in wrist and ankle joints a uh, wide sutures cranio tapes rustic rosary harrison sulcus bowing of legs so all these are characterized characterizations of rickets so next is astomalacia as i said the deficiency manifestations which are seeing vitamin d in adults is astomalacia so you can see post menopausal women are like the adults i mean like the people who cross the 50 years of age so because of the improper calcium metabolism they may get astomalacia so vitamin d levels also try, uh, tend to be low in these uh, conditions so what are it is characterized by decreased serum calcium insufficient mineralization soft and palatable bones increased osteoporosis bone defect osteoporosis is nothing but the calcium started mobilizing from the bones okay whatever the calcium deposition in the bones will try to get away from the bones and try to accumulate in the circulation so you see here normal bone how it is like mineralized okay and it requires osteomalacia bone see there are big holes okay they are like calcium has been moved away from the bones so what happened with that the bone become will soft and hollow so with small hit also the bone has tendency to get break okay so they cannot uh, bear this small hit also there will be chances of 90% 90 100% of chance of bone breakage so there are other rickets like types of rickets renal rickets as we have mentioned earlier so activation of vitamin d will be taking place in the kidney the enzyme responsible is one alpha hydroxylase the addition of hydroxyl group at the first carbon okay to the cholecalciferol so if because of the some kidney problems like glomerulonephritis the enzyme may not be able to add to hydroxyl group at the first carbon so in that case it leads to no activation of vitamin d if there is no vitamin d so there is no proper calcium metabolism so there is imbalance in calcium metabolism okay it leads to calcium metabolism disorders such as osteomalacia or rickets so that is known as renal rickets everything is fine but only thing is kidney is unable to activate vitamin d so there is a problem with the kidney rest is everything is fine so that's why it is known as renal rickets so the treatment is oral uh, supplementations okay oral or intermittent administration of calcitriol may improve the condition so vitamin d resistant like involved in defect in the metabolism or mechanism of action of calcitriol so vitamin d receptors will be defective like uh, as a, as we said vitamin d will be acting as a steroid hormone okay it need receptors to enter inside the cell to work right so as vitamin d receptors are in insufficient or inefficient at the membranes of the cell so it will not be showing the proper effects so it leads to vitamin d resistant rickets so hypervitaminosis hypervitaminosis is nothing but extra if you ingest or consume extra or double the amounts of required vitamin d leads to over a period of time leads to hypervitaminosis early symptoms are nausea vomiting anorexia and increase the thirst and loss of weight or the side effects so hypercalcemia because because of the high vitamin uh, d levels it leads to higher calcium levels leads to hypercalcemia and metastatic calcification it may leads to kidney stones or renal uh, kidney stones okay so all these are the effects of hypervitaminosis so that's all about vitamin d so try to get exposed to the sun as much as you can to avoid the vitamin d deficiency that's all for vitamin d thanks for listening thank you